Titan. Everyone comes to Titan with a dream. Our moon is one of limitless wealth. There are ancient riches here for those with the strength to claim them. But some dreams start smaller. A better life, more dignity, more comfort. Today, Titan is a place where you can buy those dreams, where anyone can profit. But it isn't easy. You have to prove yourself here. Those who settle here take that risk. And without their diligent labor, our power grid would fail. Pollution would overwhelm us. And our trade would collapse. It's hard work, but on Titan, hard work isn't enough. The bold, the strong, those are the people Titan rewards. Those are the ones who see their dreams through. Exceptional people. Friends to the Council. That is why we're giving you this opportunity, Founder. We expect great things from you. Make sure you live up to our expectations. Alright, welcome back everybody. Hope you're having an awesome day. If you like and subscribe, that'd be pretty cool. Alright. Uh, it's been a while since I played this. There is no... There's no factions? Oh, okay. They must have removed it. Alright. Let me know if my audio settings are out, guys. New computer. Uh, most of the settings carried over, but some didn't. Like, to me, that was really, really loud. But I'm wearing headphones, so... Nah. I can't tell the difference between what I sound like. Dude, that was a quick... That was a... Ooh! Okay. We, I figured seeing as we're, we're playing the new, a new game. Whoa. That's a really slow scroll speed. Right, so, campaign selection. Favor is rewarded based on your performance in each mission. Fa there's missions? All right. Establish your first corporation. Oh, dude, what the hell? All right, cool. All right, start new mission. Oh, that was a map. Monetizing surprise mechanics. <laughs> the corporation is electronic arts. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, being a bit loud. The council is glad to see you. We have significant investments riding on your success. I hope you'll live up to our expectations. If volume levels are too bad, guys, I will sort them for the next one. Okay, eco friendly factories. Factors, no. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's not. No. Uh, pollution increases habitability. Pollution is 50% more harmful to citizens. Ooh, that's horrible. Hmm. I think we go with this. Welcome, Founder. My name is Shiaro Hess, and I am your corporation monitor. Every Founder on Titan is assigned a monitor like me. I make sure you treat Titan with respect. It is the Council's property, after all. Good for you. All right. If we work together, we'll make this city... Very. Hockey's still the same. Yep. 
Let's begin by testing your oversight capabilities, Founder. First, try to move your surveillance camera around your oh, land. Oh, dude. Oh, pop them all open. Excellent work. Now, let's test your camera's rotation and zoom function. Working as expected. One last thing to ensure everything is running correctly. Try pausing and resuming, and check that your speed register is working properly. Alright, uh, okay. We need to survey this stuff. Excellent. Everything seems to be in order. Then, we begin with your main duties. Founder, please take a close look at your starting territory. The outline tiles adjacent to your headquarters belong to you. You are free to do as you please with this land. Any land outside your territory, however, belongs to the council. If you wish to use that land, you will have to pay the council with influence. 28 on that one. Founder, I see you eyeing those ruins. Intriguing, aren't they? The ruins cover almost every inch of Titan. They're the wreckage of an earlier, more foolish age. The doomed settlers who built them left many resources and artifacts behind. Your territory already... Alright, we need to change a few things. I, I do not like that at all. Uh, where's the speed controls here? Uh, hello? Give me the... Is it in here? Uh, edge scrolling, camera pan, ah, there we go. Contains some ruined structures. Better. You can survey them in your city view. Survey results will show you the contents of the ruins. Issuing a survey order will assign an employee to do it for you. Try... Shut up. Founder, survey results have shown that... Shut up. Right. <clears throat> Let's grab some storage. How much you cost? Ten? We'll take it. Put it over there. Interesting. We don't have... We don't even have a science lab. How are we getting in here? Factory pollution. Habitability. Borrowing cost, deploy movement speed. Founder, you may be interested to learn yep, that. Done it, go away. Seventy nine shit, these contain heaps. Oh, hey there. Welcome to Titan. Yep. Thanks, buddy. The council has granted you a headquarters for Awesome. Now I know this is no combat floor ability. Founder, this headquarters is the Cool. Hey, founder. energy storage all that great stuff it's my passion honestly since i was a kid i've wanted nothing more than to slam the contact switch on a giga battery and see the sky light up she sounds way too excited years of school and grad school way and vr excited. training programs and <laughs> driving mm -hmm. out of vr training programs i'm finally here we'll do great stuff together founder trust me all right my career is on the line, and you can count on me to take that seriously. All right, we want a couple of factories up and running Founder, as soon as possible. We will soon. All right, what do we got? I feel like all this stuff has moved. Hey, Founder! Did I do something in here? Okay, no, that's fine. 19, okay, sweet ass. Uh, 
um, I checked inventory and we don't have enough fuel. We need fuel to generate energy for our buildings and devices. Luckily, there's fuel all around us in the air. We want one of these. It's called Z-Thane, <laughs> and it's a finite but easily tapped gas that pours out of crevices and sinkholes. Titan's air is so toxic, it contains many flammable substances we can burn for energy. So, build a fuel fabrication device in your headquarters, or in a factory. These devices don't require any external energy of their own, and they operate without employees. Very convenient. Very. And then we'll slap in one of these. <clears throat> um, does this stuff still move without people? Hope so. We need 20 for this though, don't we? Uh, uses three fuel, except... Hey, Founder! So, you've got to be careful where you put your fuel fabricators if you want to make enough fuel. Oh, it's down here now. Zethane is extracted from the air on Titan, so you'll want to build where the concentration is juiciest. If you expand towards crevices and sinkholes and put your fuel fabricators there, you'll be not only will it. Oh, and don't forget to spro. Oh, and founder, if you want to know. Oh God, was she annoying everyone else? <laughs> All right. Uh, generating okay, energy. Founder, yeah, it's it's most buildings cool. and devices build the gener. Good. Shut up. We're close. We're close. We got it. We got it. We got it. All right. We'll dump uh, what? Where we put this thing? Here. All right. We're going to need an energy bridge and a relay to get the energy to the bridge. All right. Now we get power outside. Cool. Because then we're going to need a whole bunch of you. At least two. One for power, one for people, then we're going to need two more isotopes and minerals. Alright, we'll start with the mineral All one first. Alright, the juice is flowing! It's time to send that energy out to the buildings and devices that need it. Energy doesn't travel on its own, huh, I wish. We need relays to carry the energy. Let's build some relays now. Stick it there, we'll upgrade power it. everything the grid touches. Just make sure that all the buildings... Please be quiet. Founder, it seems... Yep, you can be quiet too. Right. That's what we're going to work on right now. Okay, quick pause. Upgrade you. We're going to need more power. We're going to need more gas. Right, we'll probably utilize this area for storage. Um, we will put people in here, I think. So we need habitat pods. Man, I can't remember the layout that I used to do with this. Is it like this? No. I'll have to go check later on in a different game. Because... You know, that doesn't make any sense. Get rid of this one. Well, we need power into all of this, so... That's why they, they would leave a space there. Alright. Uh, habitat pod. Put you there. Grab you. Put you what in here? Put you there. Uh, we'll get another one in here, couldn't we? Like so. And I think we're pretty much going to be out of power. But we should be able to generate money now, so... Yeah, it's not how I used to set it up at all, but we'll figure it out. Well, we've got enough to grab another one. What are you, 74, 42? We'll grab you. Chuck another dude in there. All right, we'll get power out of this one. We'll put the mineral production in there. Cool. Let's do that. Oh, we need a lot more bloody minerals first. <laughs> All right, let's wait for the minerals. Uh, how many idle workers do we have? 
Three assigned, five unassigned. And we have no bonus to sign them to anyway. All right, let's start digging into this. Sh you got two. Space station operations. Are you the replacement? All right, yeah, we better uh, do that, eh? Never mind. You're the new founder, right? I'm Erlen Fletch, the local spaceport operator. But you can call me Fletch. Have you been up here? No? The space station is, well, it's right above you. Council operation, really? low-level orbit. Shit, I thought it'd be Every underneath us. Cycles, the council arranges for a new set of trade ships to dock up uh -huh. here. They're carrying cargo and migrants, ready to head down to spaceports all over Titan's surface. You can find the spaceport in your city view. I hope you last longer than the last founder the council sponsored. Seriously, it's rough out here. We need to transfer... These things don't need to touch, do they? It's just the power fields that need to touch, right? Okay. Then I did actually have that in the wrong bloody place. Who cares? Alright, we'll figure it out later. Uh, right, so that's four, three. Okay, so this is enough for all of them. Then we'll go, what? Like this? No, that needs, that's in the wrong place. That needs to go there. All right, so that gets power. Yep, okay. I'll put that there. Put that here. Damn, it's the three, isn't it? Ah, what a waste of space. Eh. Another conversion capsule in there. Screw it, that'll work. Okay, except unlock right, that stuff of the so spaceport migration panel. The spaceport is locked up. See, the council oh, doesn't do things for free. You gotta pay to play around here. Done it. Yeah, Go away. Bye. Uh, yep. oh, 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 oh. Bye. Welcome to the space. Bye. Done that too. Founder, it appears. <laughs> We're like rushing ahead of all this. Greetings, Founder. So glad to finally meet you. I'm Lyle Visk, your head of human assets. Everyone here in the human assets office has just been aching to get on a conference call with you. Why? Our philosophy? Eliminate cost centers and build human efficiency. We transform people from a human resource into a monetary resource. <laughs> So they're Google. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Hey YouTube. So you decided to monetize your. <laughs> yes, I did. I have them watch ads. Hey there. You ever hooked up a building to an energy grid before? Your generators are producing energy, but they can't get it to the grid unless you build some energy bridges. Build an energy bridge somewhere inside your headquarters. Then connect your generators to it with an energy relay. Once the generators are hooked up to an energy bridge, the grid outside can access the building's energy. You can also use energy bridges to pass energy between different floors of the building. Once it's on the grid, this building can act as an energy source for other buildings in your city. And if you need energy to flow from the city to inside your buildings, it works the same way too. Build an energy bridge inside your headquarters and it can be connected to the city energy grid. One, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four. All right, so we need four extra power to get one of these. Guess we start that now then. <clears throat> Mineral import, where's the door? There. All right, we'll slam you here. Pause so I don't screw this up. Put you there. Uh, output can go, what, over here? Employee module. Okay. Cool. Which one was this? Mineral, mineral input. Employee module there. We need an energy bridge. Power pylon. We need two of these. And then we need an output and a rubbish dump for it. Okay. Uh, that requires five. That requires five. So we need ten plus nothing. 
Um, we will need another relay though. Yep. Yeah. Right. Put you there. Put you there. Power relay. Go there. Because that needs no power, right? Does not require energy. Awesome. Okay. Wait, do I have to assign a, an employee to this? Oh, well, you do. Oh, cool, man. Nice, nice. Let's hope they do something like that. Right. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> We're starting to process our first lot of uh, minerals. That's good. Now, we want to keep an eye on that. So, what we'll do is I guess we'll get one of these. If we get two, that'd be better. Right, perfect. All right, we'll have one set to um, level ones. We'll have one set to level twos, if that's what they're still called. Yep, tier one, tier two, sweet as. <clears throat> that way we've always, um, if we can, if we fill up this, we'll end up with a backlog of ones. Because we don't want them building out of the wrong stuff. Yep. Good. And this one will be twos. <clears throat> nice. Nice. Not bad. 20 minutes. Just under 20 minutes. So we've got our first lot of processing going. Because the next level. This thing costs um, 50. It's a little expensive. Would it be nice to get that in today as well? Because that really gives us a jump start. I'm not sure if it'll fit in here though. <laughs> I might have done this all wrong. Alright. We'll see. We'll see how far we get. Artifacts. Seems like there's a lot of artifacts there. Let's go for resources. Let's get rid of you. There's a lot of rubbish there. <coughs> My apologies. Uh, right, you. Okay, so we can still... Alright. Alright, let's think about this. We need a power plant. We need a smokestack. Yeah, we're going to need it soon. Okay, or do we go for money first? We need this, like, we need both of these. Let's grab both of these. They're expensive. But before we run out of credits, we want to make sure we actually have the ability to use it, uh, to get it. And maybe this too. Right. Now, the next question is, do we have enough space for all of this if we go for the next level? <coughs> oh, hang on a sec, guys. I think we actually do. Founder! Yeah, I've done it. Go away. Good. Ah, Founder. I've been meaning to talk to you about conversion capsules. It's where Titans Industries transform obedient citizens into even more obedient 15, employees. 15, 20, so we need we 70. We the procedure as training, but the process is really more um, technical, and the effects are permanent. <laughs> Once they've gone through conversion, your employees will be able to work basically forever, without breaks or sleep. Now, there may be some long-term consequences that medical science isn't currently aware of, but it is a voluntary process, so your conscience is clear. I go... Um, we put one there. No, let's move this over. Let's go and put mineral input there. Put this here. Put employee module there and there. Output there. You there. And then worry about how to get the power to everything in a second. <laughs> we don't have the power for all this, so... We're not going to hook it up just yet until we can figure out exactly where to, where to get the power from. And I think what we'll do is we'll just slap another one of these down. Once we're at 20, yeah. Cool. All right, Founder. Now that you've built your conversion capsule, you're ready to convert citizens. Start by selecting... Please shut up. Thank you. Uh, we will do that in just a second. It costs us money, though, so let's just check here. We're not really making any. 
Right, uh... Power, we need to get to 20 isotopes. So, we've spent quite a lot of it. Let's grab you. Uh, what are you, 43, 78, 78. Let's grab you then. And we'll grab you as well. Cool. Uh, right, we need to find a mine ASAP. Run pause? Yep. Man, I've got to get used to the UI again. It's all changed. Okay. So that will power everything but this one. No, sh that'll power the lot? Dude. Really? Dude. Dude. We're going to put it there. And then we need a, s <coughs> a thing for threes. But we'll worry about that later. We've got a lot of storage for twos left to do yet. We don't want to pump through them all, but... Alright, this is what we'll do. This is what we'll do. You guys hold how much? 12. 12 fives of 560, right? Uh, let's put you here. No, here. <clears throat> and you can hold the level threes. So that way they'll only process up until this is full. Plus one more sitting on here. Then we'll try and get four more people. <clears throat> Alright, uh, none. Uh, threes. Perfect. Alright. Uh, we need 20. We've got that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Chuck you in here. Right. Cool. Because they use three, three um, gas each. That'll give us nine power. That should power all of that. Right. Because it's one each. What does that use? Two. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay, that's good. And let's try, let's get some more peeps. Looks like they're just dropping dead. Fine, grab that guy. Insufficient spaceport storage. Ooh. How much does that cost? Not enough credits. Okay. What's in the spaceport? Bollocks. Alright, grab you. Because we need some kind of money coming in, or we're gonna, or we're toast. Not the good kind either. You know, the type that you eat, that's nice. Put you there. Alright, let's start processing out these. Wonder if my uh, normal strategy will work here. Let's find out, eh, guys? <clears throat> too much rubbish, right? We need to start working on that now, too. Okay. <clears throat> Which way is the wind blowing? Is there a direction thing here? You, pollution? There's no wind direction. Okay. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. Where is it? I see it. It's going that way. Okay. Let's go and put... Oh, man. that was, That's the perfect spot. All right. Let's go put a smokestack here, then. If we can afford it. What does it need? 100. All right. We'll do that first. Uh, you. Can we grab some more peeps? No, not just yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me that five with nothing. Like, with no rubbish. Damn, it's a nine. Okay. <clears throat> so the next thing to do is build another one of these. Make sure it's in range. Yep. Okay, cool. Factory. Nice. Ah, oh, because there's a bit of waste underneath it. Okay. When it comes to waste, these things are the most cost-effective to stick in when it comes to, like, these storages. It holds, like, 15 for one square instead of 12. All right, someone come and build this. Get rid of that waste and build this thing. No, they're going to clear all the other stuff, aren't they? Yeah, there it is. Cool. All right. You. We'll turn. Cool. Ah, oh, come on, man. We do have a conversion capsule. I guess we should use it 
get a couple, get another person out at least. And if we had that, we would be able to grab this, but that's going to probably run out before we get there. Yeah. Alright. 14. Damn. Okay, how much power we got? Three. Nowhere near enough for what we need to do here. Hmm. Then the question is, do we wait? Do we wait for for all the, the all the threes to put in a, a generator and a power? All right. Let's see, let's see what this costs us. Two hundred for you. Oh, wrong one. And two hundred for you. So we need four hundred. Founder, I was wondering when you'd arrive. We got a lot of work to do. I'm Alexa Carrick, your military advisor. Around here, they call me the Admiral. I manage your ships, armaments, and military personnel. Plain language, that means I make sure that rebels and our competitors don't kill us. I've worked with a lot of startup cities here on Titan, so don't worry. I've make seen it ones. all. Landfaller cities come and go like the rain. For now, keep your eyes open and your mind sharp. If we want to survive on this poisonous rock, we'll have to work hard. All right, there's our fuel turbine. We will stick it. How yes. Almost like I planned that, eh, guys? Haha. <laughs> I mean, you know I did. Come on, come on, come on. You know I did. <clears throat> well, it's probably going to use a whole bunch of the wrong materials, though, isn't it? Yep. No. Let's wait until we've got 200 worth of threes. Because we're halfway there already. Uh, maybe we chuck in another worker. How quickly are we getting there? Ah, uh, we're getting there quick enough. Save the worker for something else. Right, uh, you. Yes. Okay. A rich one. 57, 54, 50, 73. Okay, no. I would also like to get me a shipyard out so we can get a scout. <clears throat> get a scout out and have a look it's also expensive I just realized with all this here it's got nowhere to go can I put that there anyway yeah I can okay cool ah sweet ass nice not bad not bad all right guys I'll leave this episode here eh it's not bad first episode we're getting up to our power supply we'll start getting ourselves um what do you call it? Self-sufficient. We'll get a, Hopefully we'll get the uh, our first um, ship out in the next episode. I'm not sure. My build order goes like this. It's power, people, yeah, for the money. And then it's, it's resources for expansion. And then we repeat the process. So we're going to go back to power, yeah, which we're doing right now, except on a bigger scale. Then we're going to get more people. We can't yet um, scale that up into these. Hospital? Park? Dude, what the? F oh hell, no, we're gonna run through this, right? Okay, that's that's all normal. That's all normal. That's what road store so yeah, that's all normal. Okay, well maybe that. Oh, these aren't locked. Okay, these aren't locked behind science. Maybe there's other science stuff to get. All right, cool. So yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, comment, tip, suggestions. Please do leave them down below. Um, you wanna help the channel out? The links in the description. And yeah, the, and the next episode will scale up a little bit. And uh, yeah, see you then.